I'm Kalina Street Nelson right now in your 13 Action News update. Mask up or pay up. The city of Las Vegas is going to find businesses that don't comply with the face mask mandate and safety protocols. Leaders say they'll be setting up two teams to monitor businesses. Those who are not complying will be given a warning and a follow up inspection. Now, if they still don't comply, business owners will be cited and could have their license suspended. UNLV may be getting a new president. Today, the Board of Regents will vote on who to recommend. The search committee has already recommended Dr. Keith Whitfield. Uh, Dr. Whitfield currently serves as a senior vice president for academic affairs at Wayne State in Detroit. The board will vote at 1 p.m. This morning, the Cottonwood Fire is now 30% contained. It has spread less than 100 acres in the last 24 hours. More than 2,800 acres have burned since it was started by lightning during a monsoon Monday. The fire is burning near Good Springs, which is in a remote area of the Southwest Valley. Flight restrictions are still in place, so be sure to check your flight status if you're planning on flying out of McCarran later on today. And the red flag warning has been allowed to expire for Clark County, but it is still active up to our north in Lincoln County. We'll have a breezy, warm day, but all in all, not bad. Starting off in the 80s, back near 90 by 9 in the morning, upper 90s at noon, and high temperatures just around 102. Now, that's warm enough, but that is a few degrees below average. 102 on Friday. We're up to uh, 103 by the end of the weekend on Sunday, but Kalina, all in all, looking like a fairly dry, uh, warm, but not incredibly hot weather pattern through the weekend. All right, Justin, thank you so much. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktv.com and our free mobile app.